Hi dolls, it is your girl Jade. I am coming from a play that um, one of my friends was in and you know um, if you want to hear you know more about what's been going on during the week then of course you know all you got to do is stay tuned and um, keep watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel y'all so you can stay abreast on everything that's been going on with me you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying so yeah that's me. This is a place for you to be. For you to see this blaze and them thick thighs. Whoa, whoa. All the guys with tears in their eyes. When I walk in, I command the room. Demand the room. Make say, mm. Hold up, hold up. No need for a groom. Pay attention. Take notice. I kill the stage. Straight slay a stage. Yeah, yeah. Back again. Just to pay my homage. Drop a note. Go. Hit like. like. Subscribe. Uh -huh. All, right. All right. And don't forget that red box. You can click it. Click. No ticket. So... It's your girl Jade and I am just coming back from like I said um, a play one of my good friends was in um, called we all have a dream and basically the message is you know we all have talents stored inside of us that um, God gave us and we all have that dream of being what we want to be. It's, it's just really basically up to you on, excuse me, whether you are going to fulfill that dream or not. So um, it was a very good play. Um, it was a lot of fun. It was um, very funny. Um, my, my friend uh, Barrett was in the play who's also my love interest in the skit called My Environment. And, um, and that skit is, of course, written um, by Joel, Joel Roman, who's the director um, that I mentioned last week um, about the Black Pages. So the skit that we're doing is called My Environment and I play an, an escort who uh, who um, is tired of living the escort life and she basically wants to get out. She's a Christian, but she doesn't want to let on to you know people that's in her environment that she's a Christian. So she does a lot of um, things like on the sly. So in the 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 piece of skit that we have that we're performing on July 24th I mean 21st um, it's basically a snippet of that you know battle between I'm an escort I'm trying to get my girlfriend out of the escort business I'm trying to talk her into getting out as opposed to I don't care if anybody knows that you know I'm a Christian I don't want to do this life anymore so it's a really good um, skit we've done a couple of rehearsals for it and you know last week when I did my video I told you we did the, the um, laugh out loud show which was a huge success and I think I inserted videos um, of my impromptu role called Miss Jenkins um, for the Wizard of Oops if you have not seen that video please go take a look at it now I'll give you the link um, either right here or right here one of the two so yeah that's basically that that's all been going on during the week I know I told you last week um, that this week I was going to talk about what happened at the walk fashion show unfortunately I can't really do that because what happened at the walk fashion show um, it was a good show but because of what happened with this week, um, I won't talk about what happened at the Walt Fashion Show just yet. Probably next week I can do that um, since I might not have too much to talk about next week. But 
um, the walk fashion show was basically, it was a lot of fun. Um, the, what I specifically wanted to talk about with the walk fashion show is um, the process for doing everything that happened at the walk fashion show. You know, me getting there, the um, me getting there and me doing the parking and getting to the hotel and actually, you know, doing everything that went along with the fashion show. So it, it was interesting. I can laugh about what happened now, but I wanted to cry, y'all. Like, for real, for real. For real, for real, for real, for real. I wanted to cry as it was happening. So, yeah, um, that's basically it. Um, I, I didn't think this video was going to be that short. Um, but, like I said, I'm just coming from... Um, I didn't tell you who the characters were. So, um, for the skit my environment. There's me, Alexis, AJ, Joelle, and um, Barrett and a couple other um, characters that were added to make our skit a little longer for the conference that we're doing um, on Friday, July 21st. So the gist of it is, like I said, um, myself and Alexis are um, high-priced escorts and we're um, you know, we live that life, but me, well, my character, because she's a Christian and the money's good, she doesn't want people to believe, to people to know, she doesn't want people to know that she's tired of that life, she knows she deserves better, she knows she can do better, um, you know, and all that good stuff, so, ooh, Demetra is having a party, but I don't see, anyway, um, sorry, just passed, broke past my girlfriend's house. Um, so, um, with my girlfriend, um, you know, in the skit, my environment, with her, you know, she's the opposite. It's kind of like we're the angel um, and the, the devil. And I hate using those, those words, but it's like we're on opposite ends of the fence. I don't want to do it anymore um, because I know God and I'm trying to live right. Whereas the other young lady, she, she knows, you know, the type of life that we lived. There's no way in the world we can, we can get a real job with no experience and the way that we grew up is just not possible so the, you know there's that battle and then um the guy that we work for is red and you know he comes in he, you know does his part so it's going to be a, 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 a very good showcase for um the skit it's going to be a lot of fun oh it, it is going to be a lot of fun so I look forward, really look forward to doing that. Um, we had a rehearsal last, not this past Sunday, but last Sunday. Um, and that was a very good rehearsal. Um, I just remembered um, the good news I had to share. So remember how I told you last week that I had branched out into doing acting and the group that I started working with and performing with and um, rehearsing with the Ronald Lindsay, the guy who created Miss Jenkins, which was the role I did for their show June 16th. Um, he reached a, you know, I had expressed interest in wanting to join the team, um, the LAMP team, and LAMP stands for um, Laugh at My, Laughter as Medicine Productions. So, I hadn't heard anything for a couple of weeks on whether when they wanted me to audition, you know, to be part of the crew, you know, as far as being accepted and what, what was like, what was the process for coming on board? Even though I had already performed with them, I still didn't need it to do like an official audition. So since I hadn't heard back from them, um, I just kind of let it go like, you know, 
they were thinking about it so yesterday I got a text from um, Ron he's like well, yeah, we thought about it. We want you to come on board. You know, everybody loves Miss Jenkins. You've already made, made a name for yourself as far as, you know, the character Miss Jenkins. So, what do you think? Are you still interested? And I was like, what? Of course. Of course I am. So, yay, congrats to me. I'm officially a part of the LAMP crew. Um, so... Their, our next show isn't until September. Um, I don't know which skits they're going to do this time around. But regardless, um, it'll be a lot of fun because a lot of the, all, all of the skits that we've done have been like super, super funny. And then on top of that, yesterday morning... Um, Lamp did a fundraiser at the Applebee's um, locally here. And so um, we raised a lot of money. Um, we had a good crowd come out. So we did um, breakfast from 8 to 10. And so we kind of impromptu did um, an episode of The Dumb and the Messy. And <laughs> for... for I don't know if I mentioned what the Dumb and the Messy was before, but the Dumb and the Messy is basically poking fun at soap operas. So, um, so we we did a couple um, shots for for that. And once I get the video back, I'll be able to you know um, upload it for you guys so you guys can see it. I don't play Miss Jenkins, um, but I do play um, another character. So it's gonna be it's. The Dumb and the Messy, its title is exactly <laughs> is exactly what it is. I mean, they're they're saying lines that make absolutely no sense. Like you're you're having a conversation with someone about, um, uh, what is it? Like the last last one I did, I was playing a character and. And I, I basically said, you know, rat poison is best served cold or something like that. Although, you know, the saying, the real saying is revenge is best served cold. So, um, I love the Lamp Crew. It Being around them, and I never would have pictured myself being an ad-lib type of comedian. But that's basically, and I don't want to say comedian. I think I'm a conversationalist, funny person. I, I don't think I'm a comedian. Um, but I try to make people laugh. So lamp, what lamp provides is that they're basically like an in love in, in a 2017 in living color. They just don't have, you know, the, the reach that in living color had in the beginning. So like I said, I love working with lamp. It's it's also it's always an amazing crew. They also have the junior lamp crew, which is you know the teenagers who are still in school. And to see this one particular young lady, whenever I when I first met her, we were doing um, an exercise and acting class together, and I I I knew. I knew the way that she, if you knew this, the exercise that we were doing, you would get it. But I knew the way that she went through everybody as as we went through the skit without losing. I knew that she, you know how you can tell some people just has that factor. And I swear to goodness, Taylor has that. I swear. it It's like, and even in the episodes of The Dumb and the Messy, the way that she rips her glasses off like all... It's kind of like, uh, what's his name? Horatio on CSI. You know how Horatio just takes his off all smoothly. But the way the Dumb and the Messy is, everything is like over the top. So whenever Taylor likes, <clears throat> it's like over the top for her. And it's, it, it is completely hilarious. I, I cannot wait for y'all to actually see. Um, one of the episodes from the Dumb and the Messy. So, that's all my news, basically. Um, I I got accepted to LAMP. 
Um, I'm recording for the second time in two weeks, so that's good news. <laughs> um, what else did I say? Uh, I have another um, another skit performance for my environment, and you know the the first skit we did for my environment was actually with um, Lamp Crew. We were we did the pre-show for um, Lamp's show on July six June sixteenth. So I think that's all I had. I didn't really. Um, have too much to say today. I'm very tired. Um, I've been <clears throat> traveling. Well, I can't say I was traveling a lot. I went to D the D.C. area for one or two days and I haven't been able to get a whole lot of sleep since then. So today is Sunday. So I've probably gotten maybe 10 hours of sleep since Thursday. So, you know, I'm tired. If it looks like I'm tired and you know why um but yeah that's it I appreciate you guys for you know checking me out and everything and always hanging in there with your girl you know and everything so I will talk to you lovelies next week and hopefully next week um I'll be able to share with you guys my walk fashion show DC you know that whole fiasco so yeah I will talk to y'all later Tune in for another episode of The Dumb and the Messy. You greedy mutts. So what? You're just jealous because I made millions packaging dog food off as potato chips. Tired of cleaning dirty sheets for Susan. She's foul. Don't worry. Rat poison is best served. I think I'm not in the room, but I am in the room. I can smell every single one of them, and I want revenge. Tune in for another episode of The Dumb and the Messy. Tune in for another episode of The Dumb and the Messy. Oh my God, there's that Susan. What? Oh my God. So what if I paid $2.7 million for a cup of ice? You're just jealous because I'm super rich. Well, if you let me, I'll be your best friend. Then stab you in the back for free. I hope Greedy Dirt don't show up and eat my pancakes. I know you're right. I just got a new car. Don't worry. The next time I flat iron Casey's hair, I'm gonna intentionally burn her forehead. Well, so what? I just robbed your house and I'm here eating pancakes now. Tune in for another episode of The Dumb and the Messy.